I can understand wondering if the call should have went the other way. On the targeting call, that's clearly right at the line, and that extended that drive and led to a Clemson touchdown. Later on, the overturned scoop and score again in real time felt incomplete. When you watch slow motion, it looked like he had enough steps to establish possession, but that didn't go Ohio State's way either. So I could understand looking at this and saying, well, could have went this way, could have went that way. But look, at the end of the day, if you are an Ohio State fan or a player or coach blaming the refs for this loss last night, you are lost. Again, you had a 16-0 lead this game. So you had a two-score lead, two-touchdown lead. Couldn't hold it. Refs didn't do that. Leading 23-21 to 21 late in the fourth quarter. There's just over two and a half minutes to play. You let Clemson go down the field in four plays. They went 94 yards in four plays. And the only reason you had a chance to come back and try to win it was because Clemson scored too fast. Refs didn't do that. And then you are driving. Everything is working. Your offense is clicking. You're going right down the field. I don't know why Clemson couldn't somehow cover J.K. Dobbins on the final drive of the game. So everything's going for you, and your wide receiver runs the wrong route, and your quarterback throws an end zone pick. That's not on the refs either. So are there swing moments? Are there plays that didn't go for you? Yes, but... You had three or four very significant things that you had to do wrong to lose last night's game outside of the refs, so I don't want to hear it. As I like to say, blaming the officials, the last exit before Loserville.